Harry and the Dinosaurs Go Wild by Ian Wybrow and Adrian Reynolds. It was a long drive to the safari park, but it was worth it. A potosaurus saw an animal just like a triceratops. That's a rhinoceros, said Harry. Triceratops has got more horns. Mum liked the giraffes best, and Nan liked the zebras. The monkeys were funny, but the man said not to feed them. Sam asked him if they had pandas, but the man said no, they were endangered animals. Harry wanted to know what endangered meant. Sam said he was too little to understand. Nan helped. She bought Harry a book about endangered animals. She thought it was sad about the Samutran tigers. People kept hunting them, so there were only a few left in the whole world. Harry really wanted to help, but he had no money. I want to save some animals, he said. What can I do, Mum? Sam said, Tuh! What a waste of time! She said he was miles too small to make any difference. That's why Harry made her do a smudge with her lipstick. Mum took Harry off to settle down. Then they looked up on the internet and found lots of endangered animals. Mum said, why not do a poster? Harry could put it up on his window. Then maybe other people would help the animals too. Harry liked that idea. He got out his drawing stuff straight away. Trouble was, it was hard to know which animals to save first. The dinosaurs said, Rawr! We want to save some big animals! So they started drawing. Tyrannosaurus did a polar bear. Pterodactyl asked Harry to help him do a gorilla. Wait, till I've finished my blue whale, said Harry. Blue whales are bigger than trains, bigger than dinosaurs, bigger than 32 elephants. Stegosaurus did an army tank. Army tanks don't need saving, said Triceratops. Do a tree frog instead. Mum said the drawings were excellent. She helped put the words on. Let's save these endangered animals. Nan said, Oh, why not talk to Mr Bobson? He might put up the poster in his shop window. Then people can see their pictures when they go shopping. Mr Bobson loved the pictures, but he thought they might be a bit too small for a poster. He asked Harry if he could draw them bigger. Harry said, no, sorry, his pictures always came out small. Oh, that's a shame said Mr Bobson, because saving animals is important. Poor Harry. He went home feeling maybe Sam was right. Maybe you had to be big before you could be any use. The very next day, Mr Bobson was on the phone. Oh, I've had an idea, he said. Can you do me lots more pictures? So Harry and the dinosaurs did more birds and bugs and reptiles and lots more dinosaurs. Then off they went to give them to Mr Bobson.
When Harry went into the shop two weeks later, he was amazed. Mr Bobson had made all the drawings into cards. He said that every time somebody bought a card, some of the money went to save endangered animals. Everybody loved them. They said, marvellous, what a brilliant idea. So original. Four cards for me, please. The lady from the paper came and was very impressed. Oh, what a wonderful thing you've done, she said. Rah, said Apotosaurus. Save the strawberry poison arrow frog. Ah, said Pterodactyl. Save the teeny blue tongued skink. And Harry said, Quite right, my dinosaurs, because even if you are as tiny as a tick on the tail of a green turtle, you can still do something that makes a big difference. The Endosaurus.